from Indiana's news leader. Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock starts now. And good evening, I'm Jeremy Brilliant in tonight for Jenny. Another utility manhole explosion in Indianapolis. Another plume of steam billowing up in the air. This time this happened in front of a busy downtown hotel. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon explains what exactly went wrong. Just before 11 Sunday morning, steam could be seen shooting into the sky right in front of the Sheridan Hotel along West Ohio Street. People stopped and took pictures while others watched from the hotel parking garage as the waterworks raged. Citizens Energy says this is actually due to a water main break underground. The pipe that deteriorated runs above a steam line, and as that cold water came rushing down to that hot line, steam came bellowing up. The city has installed in several places the new manhole covers that actually have keepers on them. Um, and what those do is if there's a buildup of pressure under the manhole, it actually keeps that manhole cover from being uh, propelled into the air. That means the manhole covers rise up just a few inches, but are locked down. Those safer lids have been rolled out across the city. After this IPL explosion in March caused a manhole cover to go flying into the air. As for Sunday's underground issue, Citizens is investigating, but believes aging infrastructure is to blame. The networks of pipe where this water main break took place, they date back to 1904. Crews continue working to replace the broken parts to have water and steam ready as soon as possible. In downtown Indianapolis, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And police say traffic along Ohio from Illinois and Meridian Streets is still closed. Crews also had to deal with this situation near Kentucky and McCarty about a mile and a half away. Citizens says this is not related to the downtown water main break.